Well, today's senior segment, Dr. Neil Burrell joins us from the Golden Triangle Foot and Ankle Specialist to discuss Jogger's Heel. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, and so talk a little bit about Jogger's Heel. What exactly is that? Well, joggers, walkers, mm -hmm. just uh, middle-aged people, plantar fasciitis. Uh -huh. It's pain in the heel. You get out of bed in the morning and you can't put your foot on the floor because it hurts or yeah. have you been walking or jogging and your heel hurts, it's more than likely plantar fasciitis. Do you get that too when you're pregnant? I you think do. I have that. Yeah. You do. You know, a little bit of weight gain, uh -huh. uh, middle age and a little bit of weight gain can set it off. Yes. And it's a very, very common problem. Now is, it, now, is it common, but is it able, is it something that can be addressed? It's, it's easily treatable. Good. Uh, sometimes we have to give a cortisone shot, mm -hmm. but surgery is rarely recommended. Okay. Uh, good support shoes with uh, maybe a good arch support, maybe a cortisone shot or anti-inflammatory pills, and do not go barefoot, especially okay. around the house. Should oh. take care of it. Okay, so no more high heels for a while either. No more high heels for a while. Okay. That's right. Okay, and so for people that come in, um, is there a difference? Are, there, are they sometimes diagnosed? When is it okay to have that surgery? The surgery is okay when everything else has failed. You know, we don't, surgery is not a 100% guarantee. And you don't, if the surgery is not recommended or it's not necessary, don't have surgery. And most of the time, 90% of the time, we can treat plantar fasciitis without surgery. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, just conservative treatment, some simple things that a person can do at home, some stretching can make a big difference. And you know, one thing I see these tennis shoes, you know, and I'm like, what's the difference between the pair that's $15 and the pair that's 150 You know, is it sometimes that, that, that you know, you need to no. pay a little bit extra? Not necessarily. The, the big thing is marketing. Nike has to pay Michael Jordan big bucks to that's market true. their shoe. New Balance doesn't. And not to get into shoe brands, but a good middle of the road shoe, a good walking shoe works the best. Uh, something like Reebok, Nike, uh, New Balance, Adidas, something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I do not recommend Converse or Keds because they have no support. Got it, okay. Yeah. Now when, you, when, when you're actually looking at the shoe, is there something you should be looking for? Is it maybe an extra layer of cushion? Not or? necessarily, but you want to look inside the shoe and make sure there's some arch support in the shoe. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go to Payless and get a 995 shoe. Yeah. You're, you're going to end up with a 995 shoe. You do want to spend, no, oh, probably Fifty to eighty dollars will get you a good pair of shoes that will keep your feet happy. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? No, except that it's a very common problem and easily treatable, and do not ignore it because if you ignore it, it only gets worse. Okay. And for people out there that go, "Oh, I have that foot problem. I want to come see him." Where, where can they the contact you? Golden Triangle Foot and Ankle Specialist. There are four of us in the practice, and so uh, one of us can see you pretty quick. Okay, and they're located at 6260 Delaware in Beaumont. And, of course, that number is 899-1538. Correct. All right, doctor, thank you so much thank for you, joining Nicole. us. We appreciate it.